Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back with more Game of Thrones. We are starting season four today. Oof. Season four, damn. I can't believe this is only season four out of eight because I feel like the journey's been huge and so much has happened already. I am not ready for season four. Like season three, just, I still watch that scene, like the red wedding scene and I'm, I still tear up. I still like tears running down my face yeah well we're both wearing our stark tops we are wearing it in commemoration of rob talisa and catlin that red wedding episode hit real hard if you haven't seen it already i'm sure most of you have check it out that was one of the probably one of the worst most horrific episodes we've ever watched they're getting emotional on any now. television ever <laughs> so that was pretty full on interestingly enough coming from that we just watched the you know recap, recap before starting this and it was very specific in this recap to showcase all the stark tragedies even something as early as ned's death so we saw a lot of things now you guys have always said in the comments as well the north remembers mm. and we've just felt like holy shit dude the north has just had no luck they've got no scores on the board especially when it comes to the starks and and, and overall so is it going to finally be the point where the North finally gets something back? Do they finally take something back? We have to. Because we have only seen them lose. Since this show started, we have only seen the Stark specifically, but the North in general just get annihilated by the South, annihilated by King's Landing, by the Lannisters. And well, the North has kind of turned in on each other as well. Like, yeah. you know, the Boltons and Carsarks and all of them. Yeah. So there's a vibe. Honestly, I feel like after the horrendousness that was the Red Wedding, I feel like- I don't think we could get any worse. We have to be up from here. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm not going to be so confident to say that there's not going to be another one or two things that are probably similar level, but I think that we're due and for maybe a little bit, there'll be some sort of comeback because I don't imagine the writing is going to be just always one way. I need at least one or two seasons where that level of horrendousness does not pop up again like i'm i'm still genuinely broken from that yeah oh, it, was, it was horrendous it was horrendous we were destroyed but i think yeah it's interesting I, I think that the way the recap was done it almost indicated to me that there's going to be some shift in this season something different it's not going to be just a one-way slaughter mm. and i'm very interested to see where this season's going to go now yeah. like we lost a huge part of the story which was rob we've also had Melisandra basically revealed that this whole war means nothing in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So we know where he's heading. Jon Snow is back at the Night's Watch at last. And we've got Danny, who's become the, what is it? The. Oh, uh, Missa. I Missa, think yeah, like mother. Mother. So, but she's she's building a really solid army. And after watching these two's in law, we now know how strong the Unslayed really are. Because I always thought yeah. that the Thraki were more of a force to be reckoned with, but. Then it was made clear that the Unsullied are, are elite. Like they're, well, they're, they're just unified. And they just right? they, they, they will not bow. Like they, they will not retreat. They literally have that Spartan mentality, which is yeah. no retreat, no surrender. They will fight till death. They're not worried to lose everything. Well, Tywin literally said, like, one of the biggest strengths for a leader is unity. And the Unsullied are essentially that they embodied unity and they will fight. Not unity with freedom, but unity. No, un unity as a team, you know? They fight together and that's their one goal. Yeah. So, it'll be interesting. I'm thinking we're probably going to get to see a lot more of the Tyrells as well this season. Mm. You know what confused me, right? Marjorie was betrothed to Joffrey way before Sansa or Cersei yeah. were betrothed to their partners. Yes. And... Sansa's wedding was first. I don't get that. Why wasn't Joffrey's done first? I mean, I could give the simple answer of story writing. Yeah. But it makes sense to me, to be honest, because I feel like the King's Wedding's a much bigger event, more preparation time, mm. more planning, and get rid of the smaller events out of the way, make them happen. And this big one, because Sansa at the moment isn't really that much power. Like, yeah, she might give the North if she's the la believed to be the last heir, but the Tyrells are currently very strong and they are keeping the... Lannisters as number one. So that marriage, I imagine, there's more arrangements, more negotiations, well, more to do with it. Everyone thinks that Rob was the last heir to Winterfell, but Bran and Rickon is still there. Yeah. 
So there's that too. And I don't know how Jon Snow fits into all of this. Maybe because he's a bastard son and doesn't inherit it. But I still think he will have some role to play. I loved in the histories and lore when he said, I am the North. That was cool. No. I was yeah. like, oh my God, that's one of the, my favorite lines. Yeah, some people live in the North, but I am the North. Yeah, like, oh my God, that was so good. That so for good. me was, I'm hoping that it foreshadows something epic for John. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, my man. And I really am hoping this season, I'm just ready. I feel like it's the right time to see Joffrey just kicked off his pedestal. Tywin teased us a bit last season, but it wasn't a big, and we even saw Tyrion crack the shits. Yeah. But I'm ready for someone to snap and say, sit down. You're not actually in charge. Just boom. And then, oh, I'm I'm ready for that. He said last episode that he wants to serve Rob's head to Santa at his wedding. Disgusting, dude. Horrendous. If he doesn't get what's coming to him, oh, I'm going to hop in there and give it to him because that's atrocious. Yeah. So I just want to focus a little bit on the Red Wedding, just that tiny surprise, bit. Surprise, surprise. Well, I can't. We've only talked about it for three different videos. Yeah, I think it's going to be for the entire season, I reckon. Like, I'm just, I'm not over it yet. It was annoying, right? Because first you think nothing of it when Walter Frey is giving that little speech, you know, we're going to set your men up outside with food and ale and wine and whatnot. You're like, okay, cool. Like, he's being a host. But... In hindsight, that's all a setup to make sure that all his, like, army and, like, men are not anywhere near to protect them, Correct. which is atrocious. That makes me, like, so infuriated by him. The interesting thing is that Blackfish happened to go for a piss. Yeah. And we're assuming escaped. So what his role will be in all this will be very interesting whether they give him a greater purpose. I think he is going to play a big part in avenging those three for us. Or training someone who will. Like, will he mentor Ariel or something? Who knows? Mm. So, what I found interesting was that I didn't... I don't know if this was always the case or if it happened recently with the negotiations with Tywin and stuff, but Lord Bolton is married to one of the Frey girls now. I don't think it's recent because when he talked about it, he was said it as though it was a decision he made a while ago. Yeah, okay. And you remember, they're both men of the North. They both decided to sell themselves out because they lost faith in... Well, one was unhappy with Rob's oath-breaking. Yeah. The other one lost faith in Rob. It, well, yeah, it was I feel like it was... It may not have been like a day before, but I feel like it was recent only because Blackfish and Catelyn didn't know about it. Like, they just heard it through the grapevine kind of thing and they asked about it. Maybe, but it also didn't seem like they kept up to date with a lot of the smaller houses. We, can, we know the Boltons weren't widely respected as much mm. and they were sort of a bit dismissed. Yeah. Speaking of dismissed, I, while still grieving strongly, it, we mentioned this in History of Law video as well. For those of you who haven't seen it, our mods whilst chatting were... Just help me understand all the mistakes that Rob had made. Even, you know, how he would dismiss uh, Bolton constantly to have some alone time with Kalissa. And, you know, with the cast arcs perhaps being too rash. And all these, you know, breaking his oaths. How all these mistakes led to the atrocity that was the Red Wedding. And it did help me somewhat deal with the grief. Because whilst I felt like it was a completely unjustified horrendous act i just felt super angry about it and i'm you still see very how it came about i'm still very upset but i'm like okay even you know i could give bolton credit i don't love the guy but my hatred for him reduced a bit because i was like okay if, if i'm looking from a leader's point of view you've got a people a a whole house uh, and your own life on the line and the guy that you're banking on to win you the war every time you go to speak to him goes not now see you later and then you know he's having sex well by the second or third time i'm gonna be like well hang on dude why would i look after you. So I'm a Rob fan, right? Diehard Rob fan. And even then I'm saying that as a Rob being my favorite character of the show so far, I'm saying that looking at from that perspective, it did make me sympathize with everyone else a little bit and be like, all right, damn, like Rob, you kind of screwed it there. You know, I wish you didn't, but I understood it. And I thought that was just an important point to make. Mm. So just tying into Blackfish and things like that, Bran was telling a story about a cook and I don't remember the story exactly, but essentially he was feeding some Lord's son to him in a pie. And because it happened under the roof, which I can't remember what it's called, but like the guest... Guest right or whatever The guest right, so you can't kill under your roof and things like that. 
he copped it from the gods. So I'm really, really hoping Walter Frey cops it. And I'm really hoping that Blackfish or someone like that deals it. Look, I think everyone will get their due. I don't see Walter Frey, especially of all people, having a happy ending. Mm. Those guys usually get it. And I am expecting if the story writing is to be balanced and to be not biased to one side... I'm expecting that it's gone so far towards the Lannisters dominating that it's going to slowly shift at some point, hopefully this season, to them actually copying it and then, you know, getting too carried away. If the Game of Thrones is going to be sort of unbiased in that sense, I'm hoping for that direction. Mm. All right. Now it is episode one of a new season, which means we have to update our love like hate list. I'll try and not keep it as long as we usually do it. Obviously, there are big changes after, you know, the Red Wedding and what's happened. Huge changes. A reminder, we don't discuss these before the episode ever, so we're finding out as much as you guys are. Do you want to kick us off this time? Now, I think I say this every time, but I genuinely feel like this is the hardest list I've made because there are so many changes, but so many characters that I like now. Um, I just didn't know kind of where to place everyone. So this is very loose. So the love, Tyrion. No surprise. No surprise. Jamie. Okay, yeah, I understand that. And Danny. Oh, you're going to have so many people in the comments cheering. <laughs> I'm calling you out, sudden impulse, the unloyal. Everyone in Discord knows what that means. You are you, you are not part of House Fudgy. You are not part of House Fudgy. She's not been loyal. She made a last minute decision. She only backed Danny when Danny was at her strongest no, point. No, she's always been on my life list. Yeah, but like loving Danny in season four after she's like grown so much, you're entitled to it, of course. But are you a true Danny fan? Yeah, but I've only had three characters, remember? I, if, if I could have five, she would be up all right. there. All right, we'll give it to you. God. We'll give it to you. It's only because, because my man Rob is gone. You're going to have a whole Targaryen army <laughs> in the comments now. I can, I can just see it already. <laughs> so my love list, Jon Snow. I've had to put a Stark in there. He's, he's not a he's, a he's not a Stark, but he's a Stark. He's a Stark. Yeah, I had to put why well, he's replaced Rob because you know Rob's gone. Uh, Tywin still staying in there for now. Yeah, I, I don't directly blame him. Yeah, he did the death, but I don't directly I don't hate him for that because that's a smart military play. I see him yeah. for what he's done on screen and the way he treats Joffrey and uh, Cersei. I'm liking at the moment. And Tyrion still my yeah. love list at the moment. Like Arya Davos. Yep. And Jon John Snow. Okay. My like list is Davos. <laughs> Jamie. He's staying there. I can't remember if that's new. I think that's new. But Jamie is, yeah, definitely on the like list at least. And the Hound. <gasps> yeah, that's one that I wanted to add to. I just didn't have enough characters. Really liking his interactions with mm. Arya. And there's more to him than meets the eye. So I'm liking the Hound. Although, honestly, it's like you mentioned Danny. I'm like, I didn't even think about Danny. She's getting close. I'm not a big, I'm not a Danny fan. I like her, but I'm, she's not the one that I see and go, oh my God, this is my character. Mm. But she's definitely like doing some pretty cool things. I do like how she's leading. That's what, agreed, that's what agreed. I'm, yeah. She's doing great. Hate list. I'm going to start this one because I'm passionate. Go on. Well, ironically enough, when I made the list, I wrote down Lord Bolton, but I kind of don't know if I still feel that way, but I'll leave him there for now. I did hate him for what he did for betraying because ultimately to the death of Rob and stuff, but. I understand him a bit more now. Walder Frey, 100%. Him, I, I don't understand his position. Like, I do, but I don't care. He's just, he's a dirty snake. I've got no respect for him. I hope he suffers tremendously. I hope him and Joffrey go into the same hell. But if you can understand Lord Bolton, then you should be able to understand Walder Frey. No, because Lord Bolton was serving Rob for a long time, loyally. Frey was always a manipulative, always opportunistic, yeah. and always dirty. Mm. So it's, you know, yeah, okay, Rob broke the oath. I, I understand that, but... Frey was dirty and sort of mischievous from the start. They've got a bad track record as a house, always not rocking up to Being battles. Late. Yeah. Frey the late, what was it called? Walder. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Something late, like late Walder Frey or something. But yeah. So whereas Bolton was genuinely serving Rob loyally, but Rob slowly lost his respect and I can kind of see how that happened. Okay. And he broke yes right, dude. Like he broke something that's like, you know, oh yeah, Rob broke an oath. People will be saying that. But he didn't kill someone. It's very different killing yeah. a whole bunch of people from yeah. your lands nonetheless. And just breaking an oath. And, I mean, dude, Joffrey's never living this list. Let's be honest. He's never living this list. So, Joffrey for sure. Walter Frey, Lord Bolton, Joffrey. Yeah. So, we're the same on that. Yeah. Honourable mentions. I mean, you guys know it. The big three, Talisa, Rob, Catelyn. Insane to think that we lost all three of them at the same time. Pudgy's about to cry again for about the 99th time. <laughs> but, 
Crazy to think we lost them. Uh, this season's definitely going to be weird without them. But along with Ned and Drogo and a few others, they will be in our hearts. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know how I'm going to survive this season. All right. Enough of the negative things. I'm looking forward to I want to get into it. I'm looking forward to season four. I want to get into the... Grants of things. Yeah, let's go. As always, guys, a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. The support lately has been incredible. We're truly grateful for it, and it does help the channel out a lot. If you are interested in supporting us over on Patreon, check out the link in our description. We do have early access to upcoming reactions, as well as uncut reactions. For everyone over on YouTube, if you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button so you're up to date with our future uploads, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of today's reaction. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Reigns of Castamere playing. Damn. Why are they doing this to us? Is that a wolf's head as well? Tywin. Is that Rob's sword by any chance? Nah. Like, was he given it? But nah. They're melting it for the throne. It was Rob's sword. Holy damn, dude. Wow. They're gonna hit us right like this, huh? That's disgusting. It's kind of cool getting to see the process of it all though. We've never seen it before. But yeah, very sad. Oh, take that smirk off your face, Tyler. He's not really smirking. He's very serious about it. Nah. He's not like the other guys. He knows the war, but he's not doing this for some perverse pleasure like Joffrey. I don't know. So I, the, I've never seen him have that little smirk like that, you know? No, I, I just looked at it as a stern look. Mm. It's just a job being done. It's one of the... Anyway, that's how I see it. Is that Jamie? Oh, wow, it is. I prefer his old look. Where did you get this much Valyrian steel? From someone who no longer had need of it. Oh, my God. I think that was Ned, because Ned initially had the Valyrian sword. The original weapon was absurdly large. Plenty of steel for two swords. Oh, damn. That's how big he was. And he's got new armor as well. Yeah, in one Colvin. hand. The king's got all this for life. The war is over. The king is safe. The king is never safe. How many people in this city alone would love to see his head on a pike? Jamie looks so Me. weird. There is a precedent to relieve a king's guard of his duties. The king will exercise that prerogative. No. No. <laughs> Let's go, Jamie. Damn. Supper would be nice. Yeah, he's been through so much. And he's definitely a new Jamie now, you can tell. I suppose you want the sword back. Keep it. A one-handed man with no family needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Damn. It's going to be very interesting with Jamie back in the mix now. I know. I'm not used to this look, though. Smiling. Yeah, like his like, rugged look. Yeah, way better. The king will be delighted to enjoy the company of a warrior as renowned as Prince Oberyn at his wedding feast. I don't know if Black's going to be a very good warrior. Who is this guy? From the last of us. Oh, so we now we meet him. <laughs> Good what timing? I know. You like? Timid. Timid bores me. What is this duo? It's weird. <sighs> I wonder how cruel this guy's gonna be. I'm afraid I'm not an offer, my lord. Everyone who works for Little Finger is an offer. Take off your clothes. <sighs> we'll be here a while. What the hell? Is that the one that was tricking Loris? Maybe. Doesn't seem upset about it, so I'm thinking. Which way do you like it? My way. Damn, it's so different seeing him in The Last of Us. I know. It's weird. Weep o'er his hall and not. Oh no, we're gonna see this guy's dark side. He does not like that song. Yes, if you follow me, I'll arrange for a private room. Why are you wasting a woman like this on a Dornishman? Bring him a shaved goat and a bottle of olive oil. Oh my god, these guys are gonna He's get gonna a be great. a bloodbath. I can feel it. I want to go to meet Tywin, dude. That'll be interesting. 
that sword on the table makes me nervous. You're just a pink little man who's far too slow on the draw. Yeah. Bang. Long sword is a bad option in close quarters. Damn. Whoa, what the hell? So, decisions. He's so creepy. Yeah, he had that feel. I'm here to welcome you to the capital. <laughs> Poor Tyrion. The king's own uncle Imp, Tyrion, son of Tywin. Yeah, so he's got no respect, dude. This guy's gonna get belted at some point. Well, what are you, his hired killer? I started that way, I. Now I'm a knight. How did that come to pass? Killed the right people, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like him, dude. <laughs> we'll need a few more girls. Girls, yes? <laughs> <laughs> I've grown rather used to being the family insult. <laughs> yeah, my poor Tyrion. I was invited to the royal wedding. I thought we were speaking truth. <laughs> Go Tyrion. Another wedding. My it sister is. Elia and Rhaegar Targaryen. Oh, wow. And beautiful, noble Rhaegar Targaryen left her for another woman. Damn. Oh, that was for Stark Ned's sister. My nephew and niece carved them up and wrapped them in Lannister cloaks. Yeah, it's mm. very brutal, man. I wonder why he hates Lannisters. The one I keep hearing is that Gregor Clegane the mountain raped Elia and split her in half. Far out, dude. Damn. No, but if the mountain killed my sister, your father gave the order. Oh, he's coming back for vengeance. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. Tell him the Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. Oh, oh dude. I can't wait to see Tywin go head again. Oh. I want Team Tywin for this one, just to see Tywin be a badass. <laughs> that was pretty cool, dude. <gasps> Damn, they're bigger. So I want to see how, how big they are. I mean, they look bigger. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They're getting bigger. One more season or so and they'll be a nice size, I reckon. <laughs> Playing over food. Were they fighting over that in the air? Yeah. So the black one's her main one, and he's the biggest. I think he sort of controls the other. Oh. Okay. She's struggling to control them now. Oh, shit. Interesting. I don't know controlling them, but it's their food. Yeah, well, they don't fully respect her command at the moment. Sort of explored this house of the dragon. Yeah. It was more like a bond than a connection, not necessarily controlling one. Damn. Oh, look at that army, dude. She commands it all. Holy shit. Imagine having responsibility over that many people. The last man holding his sword can find a new queen to fight for. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> Drop that shit straight away. Yeah, dude, what, what's that casting choice? They don't even look remotely similar. Divas of Ledajo. Dos kame vala kana, Dario Maharis. Inumba sidri imajo dori basma. Oh, low blow. Very low blow. You can see Grey Worm, you know, coming his own man a little bit too now. If I could have a moment alone with my wife. <laughs> Shay's always hesitant. <laughs> Aww. I am your husband. Let me help you. It's actually a really, really good guy, man. Oh, she's grieving because of Rob still. We haven't seen much of her grief. I could get you Essence of Nightshade to help you sleep. Do you know what they did to my brother? Oh. Yeah, I How do. How they sewed his direwolf's head onto his body. That was his direwolf's head. I didn't realise. Far out, dude. That's horrendous. I didn't know your brother. He seemed like a good man, but I didn't know him. Your mother, on the other hand, I admired her. He knows her. She wanted to have me executed, but I admired her. <laughs> she was a strong woman. And she was fierce when it came to protecting her children. Yeah, that she definitely was, dude. 
Your mother would want you to carry on. You know it's true. It is true. Pardon me, my lord. I'd like to visit the Cotswold. Of course, of course. Prayer can be helpful, I hear. I don't pray anymore. Is the only place I can go where people don't talk to me? Oh, wow. I can't understand her position, man. That's rough. She prayed for her father. She prayed for her siblings, her Didn't mother. Damn, man. That's tough. You can't visit me I here. I know, I know. We have come to a dangerous place. They're going to get caught. Yeah, at some point, she's not going to go right here. Things are a bit tense right now. What things? My nephew, the king, wants to murder me. My wife hates me because my father murdered her family. Oberyn Martell wants to murder everyone whose last name is Lannister. Yeah, true. Yeah. Just a bit. We need to relax. Yeah, Shay, you're missing the point, dude. In this one, you're completely wrong. I do get her feelings, but there's bigger things at stake. Exactly. What's wrong? I told you, it's not a good time. It's never a good time. You have your child pride now. Shay. So she made it about her and her sexual desires. Like, dude, what are you doing, man? Look how much she's got going on. You tried to ship me away. Ship you away? Give me diamonds and make me disappear. What in the world are you talking about? Oh, so he didn't actually... I didn't think he did. yeah. You want me to stay? He wants you to stay, but he knows it's dangerous, like... Oh, no. We knew it was oh, a matter of time. Oh, no. Shay was playing with fire, man. A hook would be more practical. Elegant, I think. We had seen Jamie and Cersei again. That's been since forever. I know. Well, they're finally going to be alone. Gone completely. I'm in your debt, Maester Kyburn. Not a maester, your grace, but happy to help whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Let's go. Let's see this interaction. He's quite talented, you know. What symptoms? <laughs> symptoms that are not your concern. Hmm. You don't really... Plan on staying in the King's Guard, do you? Please don't. I don't want them together. Nah, dude. Damn, he's still with Cersei. I mean, I'm together, but. Ugh. Not now. I want. Not now. When? I've been back for weeks. Oh. Something's changed. Everything's changed. You come back after all this time with no apologies in one hand and expect everything to be the same. What? No apologies. You think I wanted to be taken prisoner? Don't know what you wanted. You weren't here. Oh. Oh, dude, she's making it about her while she lived royally. Every day. I murdered people so I could be here with you. It took too long. I... Oh, my God. Go Come away. In. Forgive me, Your Grace. Not the information to oh. her. Oh, dude, my holy! God. I'm actually happy for Jamie. To be honest, I'm happy for Jamie. Screw Cersei. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm happy for him that they're not going to be together. I think, but I don't like that she's controlling that. If that yeah. makes sense. And it's like, crazy her, her stance on that, victimizing herself. Like she's the one that's been done wrong by. You talk too lot. What do you mean? Yeah, dude. After everything Jamie's been through, how cut would you be, dude? Like uh, Cersei, there's just nothing good about her. Nothing. How are you blaming him? So entitled. And now our girl Shay is about to get screwed over. Oh my God. To be fair, I mean, she wanted this. Like, she's warned and she is arrogant about it. Even when Tyrion warns her, she's arrogant about it. She's been given chance after chance. And she wants to, you know, play as there's no consequences. So she's pretty much, you know, setting up her own fate here. Oh, this episode is not going in the direction that I wanted it to. Yep. It's been depression. Oh, this is Igret. Yeah, she's not in my good books at the moment. Uh, I'll see. Maybe she did it because Mance Raider was watching her. Your pretty crow is at a thousand men on this thing there. Yeah, well, he's a liar. He is. Shouldn't it be he was? 
You said you put three arrows in him. Yeah, I did. Mm. Oh. I knew it. If that boy's still walking, it's because you let him go. Yeah, I knew it. And he's not man, so I can't remember his name though. Yeah. Yeah. My girl Egret. I fucking hate Thens. Are they another wildy tribe or? Probably. Creepy one. How did you find us? Another warg. Okay, interesting. Maybe everything's just better fed down here. Fat and lazy. Are they going to be cannibals? I've got a feeling it's going to be humans. She yours. I'm not anybody's. <laughs> oh, yes, Igret. <laughs> Choose your words carefully, my friend. Not like those crows at Castle Black. Stuffing their faces with ham and blood sausage and stew. It's got to be to do with the food. You really ought to try crow. I knew it. That's disgusting. I had a feeling too, but I was just like, oh, please no. Like it couldn't get any worse. He was best of the mere everything. Fighting and hunting and riding. Guys, stop reminiscing. I wanted to hate him, but I never could. Sometimes oh, I want to hate damn you. it. Oh, Sammy. He's better than me at everything. <laughs> Except reading. <laughs> I didn't murder him. No? You put your sword through a brother of the Night's Watch. This guy. Oh, I've got about this snake. A bastard son of a traitor. What would you expect? Don't talk about the half hand as if you knew him. He was my brother. And you'd know he'd do anything to defend the wall. Yep. He even talks like a wildling now. No, I talk like a wildling. I ate with the wildlings. I climbed the wall with the wildlings. I... Yeah, that's true. I lay with say... a wildling girl. Yeah, okay. He said it. Damn. Okay. The law is the law. The boy must die. They always sleep with women. The wall would be manned by headless men. Yes. Well said. Mance Raider marches on the wall with an army of a hundred thousand. Impossible. You can't get 50 wildlings together before they start killing each other. This guy has no clue. The Hornfoots, the Ice River clans, the S giants fighting for him. Giants! <laughs> Have you ever been beyond the wall, sir? I commanded the City Watch of King's Landing, boy. And now you're here. And? You must not have been very good at your job. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. Led by Tormund Giant Spain, I killed their warg and three others. They shot me full of arrows. Didn't mention Igret. The signal for the attack will be a bonfire. Mance said it would be the greatest fire the North has ever seen. They need John, dude. John's grown a lot. I'm really liking him. None of us are free. We are men of the Night's Watch. <laughs> but we won't be taking your head today, John Snow. Not ever, please. Not ever. We've lost too many Starks. John's all I've got left from the brothers, man. <sighs> I am acting commander here, Maester Damon. Yes, you are. And I don't trust the bastard. Too bad. He told the truth. And you always know when a man is telling a lie. How did you acquire this magical power? I grew up in King's Landing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great line. That is such a good line. Him as acting commander is dangerous, though. Yeah. My word. My lady. Oh. <laughs> Brienne. Look what she's wearing. My lady, I know this is a very busy time for you, <laughs> but if I could just have a moment. I think the Tyrell's in brand suit. Yeah, true. A shadow. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. He plunged his sword through Renly's heart and disappeared. Yeah, true. Forgot all about that. Forgot about that. Joffrey is our king now. I meant no offense. And you've given none. I think I'll like them together. Oh Yuck. my god. 
What the hell is that? They know I won the war. The war's not won, but while Stannis lives. I broke <laughs> Stannis on the Blackwater. It's a pity you weren't there to help, Uncle. I'll be quiet, Joffrey. Neither were you. It's busy getting captured. Oh, he's gonna have a jab at him, I reckon. So Jamie Lannister. Hmm? <laughs> I dare you, Joffrey. I dare you. Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. Is there? For a 40 year old knight with one hand? He really is just a piece of shit to everyone, isn't he? I use my left hand now, Your Grace. Makes for more of a contest. <laughs> yes, Jamie. Now he knows the piece of shit that he gave birth to. But that is sad. There's no like great deeds in there. He deserves more. They say a thousand slaves died building the Great Pyramid of Marine. And now an army of former slaves is marching oh, down Oh, we heard about Marine in the history of law. Where the pyramids were built. It's where the original slaves were from. Yeah, you're right. But I need to speak to you about something important. A matter of strategy. They're very much changing the dynamic now from last season as well. He's not as elegant or charismatic anymore. Yeah. If you want them to follow you, you have to become a part of their world. Strategy. I mean, she's done well so far, but... But he's making good points. Yeah. You are a gambler, aren't you? <sighs> Please don't fall for him. It's just still so weird. The acting change is massive here. Not even remotely similar. I know. So maybe he isn't Jack and Hagar then. Yeah, no. <sighs> maybe he is, given the change. True. Maybe they play it off like that. <laughs> It's just a little girl. Oh my god. Oh, for sure, Danny's taking his place. How many miles are there between here and Marine? 163, Your Grace. Wow. You don't need to see this. You will do no such thing. Holy crap, they've got them as like a sign pointing. And every one of their faces. Wow, Danny. This is going to be the worst slave traders of them all, I think, and she's going to annihilate them. I'm excited for that. Oh, I'm so pumped for it. You made a promise. To return the Star Girls to their mother, who is now dead. To keep them safe. <gasps> and Sansa Stark is now Sansa Lannister. It's a complication. Complication does not release you from a vow. What do you want me to do? Kidnap my sister-in-law and, and take her where? Where will she be safer than here? Jamie. He's making a point. Where's he going to take her? Rob's dead. Yeah, I just don't want him changing. I'm glad they're still friends. Yeah. I just hope that doesn't change. Did you see that? Someone yeah. moved. Is it Joffrey? Nah, he wouldn't be out here on his own. Who is that? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, she saved him, remember? I can't accept your apology. I may be a fool. <laughs> A living fool, thanks to you. Yeah. Anyone would have done the same. No, they wouldn't. This is worth more than my life. It belongs to my mother and her mother before her. Oh. Oh wow. Feel bad for him, man. It's very, very kind of you, but I, I can't. I don't have anything else left. Take it. Wear it. Keep it safe. One more moment in the sun before it disappears from the world. Aww. He's a nice guy too, man. I'll wear it with pride, Sir Dantos. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen her smile since Rob's She needed there. something to realize she could still have impact, you know? Yeah. I know him. The small one. His name is Pulliver. Oh, he's the one that killed... He killed yeah. that boy we saw in the preview. Oh. Yeah. This is going to be the first on her list. My sword. Needle. Needle. Of course you named your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Arya. You get back. My brother gave me that sword. Get back here. He killed my friend. I don't care if he ate your friend. We're not going in there. Mm. Yes, you are. Damn, dude. He got stitched up big time. 
Come on, Aria, let's go. He's a big boy. Come on, Hound, I got you on this. Surely they know who he is. They must. Yeah, what's your back, boy? I know you. You're the Hound. <laughs> yeah. They play well on that. You spend enough time putting the hammer to people, you start to feel like a carpenter making chairs. Drains the fun right out of it. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy's a sicko, man. These guys are the absolute bottom of the battle snakes. These are the king's colours. No one's standing in his way now, which means oh. no one's standing in ours. Just you wait, my friend. Just you wait. Fuck the king. Oh, damn. Oh, what do you think? not even holding back. Arya smack. We'll trade ya. One of our little chickens for one of yours. Mm-mm. These men deserve everything that's about to come to them. What colour eyes does he have? You're a talker. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. <laughs> They're brown eyes. Took his drink. He's really trying to roll him up. Oof, not even a break. And hungry. Think I'll take two chickens. <laughs> Love this. Let's go. I'm ready for this. You're gonna die for some chickens. No, you're gonna die. You're going to die, my friend. Talk's a good game. Look at Arya, she's just smirking. <laughs> Dude, these men stand no chance. Yeah, the hound. Oh, shit. Dude, the hound's a beast. But it's a lot of numbers, man. What is it, 5v1? Come on, get up, get up. Come on, Arya, she'll come in clutch. She has to. Oh, yes. He's for sure gonna let Arya kill him though. Pull him up. Oh, oh, stabbed him in the balls. Yeah. Come on, Arya. Come on, Arya, it's your time to shine. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Holy crap, dude, that is. Oh, well, I guess he doesn't eat Arya. Oh, shit. She's going for it now. Oh. Oh, with her sword? And he was on her list, I think. Something wrong with your leg, boy. Oh. What do you mean? Can you walk? I've got to carry you. Oh, wow. His words. Fine little blade. Word for word. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, she's getting, like, satisfaction out of it. Well, it's the first proper event she's got on her own, I think. Wow. Holy shit. There's one name off her list. Has there been anyone else off her list? Not that she's done personally, but I think so. She's smiling. I mean, I guess she's taking a little bit of control back, you know. It's the first win on her on her board, man. All she's done is lose, lose, yeah. lose people, everything. Wow. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Pretty good episode. Yeah. Nothing too drastic. It's just sort of introducing the world the way it is now. Things have changed. I needed. I needed an episode that was like easing me into it a bit. I think I'm happy for Aria. Like, it's not nice seeing a little girl go through all that and, you know, smile that she's killed someone. But after everything that she's been through and, I mean, she's lost everyone. And this is the one thing that she has some control over. And, I mean, hats off to her. She, you know, there's a little bit of happiness there for her. And I'm loving her with Hound. I really am. Interesting dynamic. Yeah, very different. Wouldn't have expected it before, but... Yeah, there's actually a, a lot's been introduced here, but it's just sort of very... 
early stages introduced. Like nothing progressed too drastically yet. Yeah. We, a lot of things that I was curious about, like Theon and Bolton mm. and, and stuff, are not touched on too much yet. Yeah, probably in the next couple episodes. We've been introduced to a new prince. What was his name? Something Prince. Prince o- o- Obera? O- Obega? No, no, not Obega. Oberis? Anyway, or honestly, that Ob- that's fine. It's yeah. very mean ones. But it's weird because we've just started The Last of Us as well. And it's the same actor that plays both. I don't remember that's yeah. his name. But it is definitely weird. It being like the timing of us watching season four, Rise of Star, Last of Us, and then both being introduced. It's like, yeah. you know, Joel, How do we sorry. find ourselves in these situations? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. So interesting. He's got his own vendetta against Tywin. I'm back in Tywin on this one, but I'm sure it'll be an interesting battle. Now, Jamie is definitely not getting the hero's mm. welcome that we thought. Yeah. Very odd. Very odd that Cersei's... Well, I didn't think he'd get the hero's welcome, to be fair. No, but I don't know. I probably didn't expect anything. I mean, it is the Lannister family, but it's just Cersei's reasoning is just absolutely retarded. Then you've got Joffrey who just, I don't know, that guy does not want anyone to like him. Like, your own blood. I can understand him looking down on poorer people or people who serve him, but even your own family, he just spits on every single one of them. Like, dude, do you want no one to like you? No one to respect you? He's honestly much the dumbest no. king ever. He he respects the Mad King so much, who definitely had a few screws loose. Yeah. Like, when you look up to someone like that, like, do you really expect him to be normal? Like, it's disgusting. It's very interesting. I, I The Tyrells are really brewing a game plan here, and I feel like by the end of this season, we're going to get to taste mm. something about what it's all about. Because so far, they've really they've stayed harsh. They've allowed Cersei Tywin to get their you know dubs on the board and give them their little opportunity. But they've got their game plan, and they're playing yeah. the long game. And I'm very interested I'm to see... I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting for them to come out on top a little bit. Yeah, particularly... I'm waiting for Joffrey to experience some loss because he is just... Please, please, make him lose a hand, anything, anything at this point. But it's ironic, isn't it? He's talking about Jamie Lannister's achievements, but he's achieved nothing. Nothing. He's literally just like a spoiled brat on the throne. He's achieved nothing. He couldn't even stand tall in, in the one war he's meant to yeah, stand tall Yeah, I know. Well, and it's funny because he's like, oh, I defeated him at Blackwater. I did this. You did yeah. nothing. You whimpered out. Horrendous. You whimpered out. He's horrendous. I can't wait. I, that's what probably the one thing I want the most of anything. Well, yeah. So the interaction with Jamie and Cersei was not what I was expecting. To be fair, like it was, hmm, I don't know. Like I guess underwhelming in the sense of it's been so long, and that's all. I mean, we're gonna see more, but yeah, I didn't like. Well, it. she alluded to some things that yeah. we can only guess about, but. She's been getting, you know, a maester's help with some sort of medication or some treatment. He's touched her apparently in her private areas, I'm assuming. She doesn't seem to love... She has symptoms. Yeah, of something. And then she's not seeming to love Jamie or want to make love to him. So is there a reason for that? Mm. She's also stated boldly that she's not going to get married, even though Tywin said she is. So I'm wondering what the hell is the game plan here? She's got something brewing. I wonder if she's getting some sort of poison of sorts to stop her from being fertile to then prevent her marriage maybe because the marriage the point of it is you know bearing children and i don't think she wants to have i'm assuming to bear children i mean potentially because the conversation she had last with Tyrion was about children and they made me so happy and blah 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 blah. so i mean it does make sense i wouldn't put it past her to be fair interesting and i'd love for this prince to meet joffrey because you know, Joffrey is used to everyone sucking him off and this prince has a vendetta to mm. be paid and maybe they'll pay with Joffrey. Oh, that'd be, that'd be a dream come true. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. That would be a dream come true. If I'll be so was... excited. Oh, dude. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, we've got a big season ahead of us. I'm interested. I am very eager to just... I feel like a new leaf's turning. There's opportunity again. I'm hoping I'm not punished again, but I am regain my hope that something's going to go right, that some people that we love in this world are going to mm. get some wins on the scoreboard. They're going to get some positive outcome. I'm, I'm hopeful for Jon Snow. He survived a lot of things. Yeah. I, I, I feel like there's more to him. I said that with Rob, so, you know, I can't guarantee that, but someone's got to have some purpose. Stannis is still very much in the game. It's an interesting bit of dynamic. Danny is... I'm interested for Danny's arc. So am I. Because each slave arc gets more brutal and worse than the last, and yeah. she just comes out on top. I'm really excited for her to just, like, build her army and go through, like, everything that she's going through. But I do feel like it's still going to be slow progression with her. Maybe, like, in a couple seasons we'll see her really 
I don't know. Like, I guess the ultimate thing is Westeros to go to the West. I think that's know. the current incentive, but I feel like her grand purpose will be in the fight the, against the yeah, White Walkers. Yeah. But a lot of it based on the size of her dragons. I feel like as they grow, mm. so, I mean, she's got a great army, so that's already there, but the dragons are really, which we know from the history with Aegon, yeah. they are the turning point. No one else has dragons. If she has three good yeah. dragons, that's like 10,000 men. Well, I feel like her main focus now is freeing all the slaves in Essos rather than going for the throne. So it's still like a double-edged sword where by freeing all the slaves, she's also building for Westeros. But, you know, but back to John, I am really liking how much he's growing. Like he's really just standing tall in front of all these people who are treating him like shit. And he will just say it how it is. He doesn't quiver, not once. He does not buckle. And I mean, it benefits, doesn't it? And I love how like he grows and tells the truth, you know? He's been through a lot. He speaks mm. a lot more reassured, a lot more confident, a lot more accountable. I'm liking yeah. John too. His growth, he's becoming a lot more of a just a reassured man overall. Yeah. So I'm liking that. Yeah. I do wonder though what happened to all his brothers of the Nightwatch that fought each other when Mormont died. They all died. All of them? All of them. But remember, some of them didn't go to um, Beyond the Wall. Some of them stayed at Castle Black. Yeah, I meant the ones that were on his camp. Yeah. They all died? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I wondered if one or two were going to survive, but interesting. We'll see. I, I don't think it's confirmed that they're dead, yeah. but... But I just knew it. I knew that Igret, because... I uh, can't remember the red-haired guy, what his name is, but he was saying that, you know, she's a really good archer. And yeah. she did that because he was there and watching. So I'm really happy that that was... Oh, when, I don't know yeah. he did it because he's there and watching. I think yeah. he was still hurt, but... She didn't want to kill him to her. It was just I don't know. If there's any proof that she was that he was watching. Look, one might have been out of her. The other two was because he was watching. A hundred percent. I mean, she was. Crying. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced because she rocked up on a horse on her own, tracked him down ahead of the others, and no, didn't then you shot see him. him in the background? I don't remember. Yeah, him he being was in the there in the background. I don't think he was. He was. I don't think he was. <sighs> He was. Yeah, he was there in the background. And that's why, like, I thought it was weird initially. Like, she was crying and she was doing it. But when I thought about it more, that made sense to me that she did it because someone was looking. Maybe one was on her account. Fair enough. I get that, right? But three, not so much. And then they pretty much confirmed it in their conversation. Interesting. The one thing I want to touch on is Dara Naharis. I really don't... The name doesn't suit the face, you know? Like, I really thought the face suited the name initially with the act of yeah, last it did, season. It did. This one, I don't know. Especially when I feel like they're trying to romance Danny a little bit. It just... I don't know. And he played a much more charismatic kind mm. of character. Even that cheeky smile that he had. Very confident, the look in his eyes. Whereas this guy just seems quite standard. Yeah. And Danny's, even Danny's attitude, she was sort of like flustered before. And now she's just sort of like dismissive of him as much as she can. So they, they have well, changed things a bit. Danny might be trying to fight the attraction. And that's how she knows how to do that. Maybe. We'll see. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to episode one. If you did, remember to leave a like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you know as soon as the second episode drops. Season four, big journey ahead. Love to have you guys for the ride. Looking forward to it. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on the next reaction. See you guys.